Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. 762 coming at y'all with another one. And if you guys can see by the title of this video, we're gonna be going over the last target you'll ever need. This video was sponsored by them boys at Infinite Defense. I wanna take a, a moment to big shout out them for sending us their patent pending target. It is an infinity target that you could shoot with a, mo mostly about any caliber and any round except for hollows. Um, in scenarios and I feel like 50 BMGs as well let's go over some details on it reusable up to 112 110 rounds per square inch reactive high visibility shot high visible shot markings no ricochet safe for close quarter use made 100% in the US from resourced recycled material and it is weatherproof and waterproof so you could just leave it out at the ranch. A couple of do's and don'ts is do not shoot with any hollow points, explosives, incendiaries, wads, flat nose, rounds, or slugs. Attach to sturdy target stand with provided clamp screws or your preferred method of mounting. Wait over I'm sorry. Paint over hits with any paint or spray paint. Primer is preferred or any color will work. I suggest you guys don't get those little cheap uh, spray cans from Walmart. Get some quality stuff. This is from Home Depot. 10 bucks. Uh, white primer. Just so I could fill her up after I shoot her up. You know? Got some little markings where a little bit of stress from the paint coming off already. The big shots, no boy. That Infinite Defense again for sending this. This is the Gen 2 Infinity Target. They're currently patent pending, like I said, but it's gonna come soon. It says approved for any ball or FMJ caliber up to 50 BMG. So, like I said, up to 50 BMG, this thing could take it. And a target paint may be scratched during the shipping process. The target, the target is not damaged, and it can easily be touched up with some spray paint. Like I said, guys, there's already some damage just because, just from shipping and stuff like that moving around, the stress calls to the target. You know, even I get some deterioration inside the colors, but this is all just be painted up and covered back up. Yes, sir. Big shout out to my boy for the infinity target. I appreciate you guys. For donating to the channel and sponsoring this video with the infinity target that we got to be reviewing for you guys today. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy out to the range. One more quick thing before we head out, I want to take a quick shout out of this channel's permanent ammo sponsor for the time being, Nautilus Ammunition. All American made products, all made locally in the US. They got nine mil range ammo. 223 range ammo, subsonic 300 blackout range ammo. Yeah, them boys got it all. They even got home defense or self defense, nine mil range ammo as well. Defensive line, hollow points. Well, like I said, big shout out to them boys for sponsoring the channel. Now it's ammunition. Go check them out. Use code Mr762 for 10% off. Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? Got a quick delay over here. Can't go shooting yet till 10 30. World's currently closed. As you guys can see we got a little bike race here. Got a bunch of people over here waiting as well. Some trailers. Yes sir, we out here waiting. We gotta wait till 10 30. Cops got the road locked. So I guess we're just here waiting right now. Tell you guys the exact time it is right now it's about nine something though so exact time is 9 28 so we're gonna be waiting about an hour hopefully open up this road soon or we could just go home okay can't stop won't stop oh yeah what is up youtube as you guys can see we finally made it to the range the police finally let us in Close a roadblock, let us in there. So we got the Infinity Defense target set up over here. Like I said, big shout out to them boys for sponsoring today's video and sending out this Gen 2 Infinity Defense or Infinity Target so we can check it out and review it for the channel today. We're gonna put it up against up, up against a couple different calibers to show you guys what we got on the table today. 
for this infinite defense target. So today, we got a couple contestants to see if any can overcome the infinite defense target. It says it can take up to 50 BMG, so we're gonna be putting it up to the test today. We got some nine mils, FN 509 Tactical, Glock 4.5 MOS. Then we got some 223 over here. This is my personal build, uh, Diamondback AR-15. Not too much of a build. Kind of just bought it like that and put some upgrades, attachments to it. Then over here, we got a Mossberg 512 gauge shotgun. And then we got some 762 by 39 off the Michael Draco. You know, we don't call ourselves Mr. 762 for nothing. Had to throw some 762 up against that target. See what we could do with it. Got some Nautilus ammunition, nine mil, full metal jacket, 115 grain. I'm gonna be loading up inside the FM 509 tactical today. All right, we got 17 FMJs from them boys of Nautilus ammunition, 115 grain. Going down the, going down at the range. I'm gonna be going shooting at the. Infinity Defense Target. So far, I have not had this uh, RMR zeroed yet, so if I have a couple shots off, it is because I need to zero this optic still. Gonna probably be trying to use the irons though. All right, we live. All right, we're gonna take our first shots at the Infinity Defense Gen 2, Infinity Target, and let's see what we do. Alright, so that's it. We got our first 17. Let's see the damage done to the Infinity Defense target. Should be close to none. Sheesh. Nothing. Can't see nothing in the front. Let's check out the back. No damage whatsoever. It's nice. 9 mil, one of the least calibers to, I guess, do damage to this. So, I mean, this isn't too bad so far. Let's see, the land. Let's see the hits we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, and one went off. Not too bad. Like I said, I still got to zero out this RMR, but I was just kind of basing it off of the iron sights because these are some perfect lower one third iron sights to use still for backups. Not too bad. Let's get the spray can out here and see how I on repairing this target. Got this white, rust olum, painter's touch. Move the camera back a little bit, please. As you guys can see, it looks a little bit better now. Can no longer see. I mean, you could, could see little nicks in them. But honestly, to the naked eye, it's a brand new target. So let's get back out there. Let's shoot some more 9 mil down at it. Probably gonna try to zero out this RMR real quick on this FM 509 Tactical. And then we're gonna move up to the 223 556, 12 gauge, and the 762. Let's shoot the 43X this time. Load it up with 15 because this is a shield arms mag. 15 round. 
This one is brand new. Mint condition. Haven't even been ran yet. Let's see how it goes. All right, we got 15 loaded up in the shield arms. 15 round magazine for the FN. I mean for the FN. For the Glock 43X MOS. Let's get down the range and get some more shots into this infinity defense target. I don't remember if this is zeroed either. I know I'm bad. I'm bad at this. But regardless, I'm gonna be using the iron sights. So let's get another 15 down at this if I need the target. We got another 15 down, and before we step over there and check out the damage, let's grab this spray can real quick. 15, I think I might have hit all 15 this time. Let's check it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Whoa, so he's missing two. Not that bad, two strays, and let's repair this target real quick again. Once again, this is just the five, this is, not, this is just nine mil being repaired by some good old Spray paint. Let me know what you think. All right, so as you guys can see, 9mm isn't really doing too much in this Infinity Target, so we're gonna have to put something up a little bigger better up against it we're gonna have to put some 223 out this diamondback ar-15 down at it and let's see the damage it does and let's see if it can withstand this round once again no this ammunition Appreciate you guys for sponsoring this channel in, in today's video with the ammunition. All right, that's 10. We got 10. This is 223, 55 grain, no ammunition. We're gonna be sending down the range at this infinity target and let's see how it does. All right, so this is gonna be some 223. This is gonna be some 223 out the Diamondback AR-15. We're gonna be shooting at the Nautilus ammunition target and let's see the damage it takes and if it's able to be repaired after this. Flip down these irons. All right, let's go. Got the optic on. That's all 10, real quick and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All 10 on target, pretty easy to hit some AR rounds from about 20, 10, 15 yards out. Let's go. Personally, knowing the diameter of the 223, I feel like it's gonna do more. I mean, of the nine mil, I feel like it's gonna leave more damage in the 223. This might be a little bit better caliber to be shooting at the target, but let's see how this one repairs. Yeah, as suspected, the 9mm being in a bigger diameter, it leaves a little bit bigger of a spot. These 223 don't even leave anything at all on this target. Doesn't look like it's ever even been shot in those areas. Just some cosmetic appeal. Yep, so that's the 223 at the infinity defense target. Like I said, mission success. This is a pretty good target. It's taking anything that I've thrown at it so far. Let's throw some more 223s at it and see what it could do. Sheesh, got some spray paint on me. 
Might just want to be a little clear because obviously you are spraying paint, spray paint. So try not to get it all on yourself and on your weapons because that might not be a good look for yourself. Throw some more 223 just finish this NARS ammunition box here. Bolt release, okay. You wanna shoot some? All right, I guess not. All right, we're gonna put another 10. I'm gonna get a little further. <sighs> we're gonna put another 10 down at the infinity defense target. I'm gonna try to aim all for the head box area. Let's see if we can land them all. Hit a good amount on the head box area. One strayer as I saw. And let's see how we do with these compounding bullets and see if it's able to repair as easy as the other ones. These nine mils are kind of popping up. Didn't really spray it too good, but. As far as the naked eye can see, still looks like a brand new target and we put about 50 rounds through it so far. It's doing pretty good, holding up to the job. Didn't have to use any tape, just fill it up with some paint. All right, now we're gonna hit it with the big dog, some 12 gauge. I'm kind of scared about this one. This has some double, double bucks in here. I don't know what it might do, hopefully, it can't withstand the damage. Let's go, we're gonna get a little bit closer for this one. All right, so we got some 12 gauge buckshot up against the infinity defense target, and let's see if it's able to withstand this damage. That's one. I'm probably only gonna shoot one more at it. Actually, let's just, let's just finish it up. Whoa! Homie couldn't take that one. All right, with that being said, I'ma just pick up the target, set it back up, and then see how we can repair it. All right, so these 12 gauge uh, seem to have penetrated a pretty bit. Kind of the biggest holes, these are double old buck shots. I guess these are about the size of a couple nine mils going through here. So it definitely did leave some damage in here, but stuck to the other side. Doesn't really look like it did too much. Besides this one little area, there's a little tear in here. But besides here, I feel like these all can be covered up with some spray paint. Let's check it out. Whoa, that's a pretty big gash in there. Sheesh, all right. I think the buck shot might have actually did some damage. This was bird shot right here, so it didn't really do as much damage. I definitely laid it down though. That bird shot made him go down. That bird shot caused the target a lot of stress. Not too much penetration, but a bunch of stress. All right, but look at this double O bug shot right here. You guys might be able to see me on the other side. Pretty big hole over there. I feel like this might be the deathless target, shotgun shells, especially buck shots. But besides that, everything else so far has been pretty good. This one, you can obviously tell it's been shot there. I don't think you could shoot in that same area again. So let's see what this 762 by 39 Michael Draco does. Hopefully, it does not leave a big hole like that because I'm not gonna have too much left of a target after this one. These are the chonkers. This one might do some damage to it, but let's see. Gonna probably just load up five. Don't wanna kill my target here. Still wanna 
get a couple more range days out with this target don't want to demolish them yet so let's just do five so far and let's see what the damage it could do with this Michael Draco nice and easy all right so we're going to be shooting this infinity defense target with some Michael Draco, 762 by 39 rounds, only five in here. And I see the damage. Hopefully it does not leave my target demolished. It's gonna be loud. Five, it's pretty simple. Let's check it out, let's see the damage. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. 7.62 by 39 didn't do too much damage and that definitely hit right on top of the buckshot. So even double the damage there, but it's not that bad over here. Check out this one shot over here. This is one 7.62 by 39 right here. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. So this target can take, I believe up to 50 BMG, but buckshots I would be a little aware of. Let's spray paint it real quick and let's see how we can fix it up. All right, now we're gonna be repairing the 762 by 39. Not too bad. Let's touch up the turn a little bit. Pretty nice. My review on the Infinity Target so far is a w cop i would buy it again if i was myself this is definitely a good range toy to bring out to the range and just use never endlessly and not have to take off targets put targets back on repair holes with stickers and stuff like that definitely a good cop and shout out to infinity defense for sending this out for me so i could review on the channel for you guys oh my gosh my shit Saying that the Infinity Defense target took those 7.62 rounds like nothing, we're gonna put a couple more down at it and see what it can do. Just finish this box up right here. All right, we got 10 loaded up inside the Micro Draco. Bring this spray can with us and see the damage it does. That shit was loud. Honestly, just dumped it. Wasn't really aiming. Just trying to celebrate with them with that little loud bang over there. Let's just repair it up though. Damn, that one looked like it hit the wood a little bit. So if you don't aim with the Micro Draco, it obviously can get a little bit out of hand. So come back on this other side of the target. So far, I say we shot about 100 rounds through it so far. And the only major damage we have are right here and these are all from the buckshots not too bad these are from the buckshots as well so if i have any tips for you guys if you guys get in this target don't shoot any buckshots at it but what's going on youtube as you guys can see we are now back at the crib and it's been a couple days since we have shot that infinity target i'm gonna be honest with you guys we had gave it some time to dry off in the garage and now let's show you guys the after effect after that long grieving range day for the first day of the infinity target in my eyes i feel like this can be used about 10 more times we didn't really do too much only used about 100 rounds of multiple calibers at the range this time but even though this area, the sensor area is pretty damaged, it can take a lot more shots in multiple areas. The only real big problem was those buck shots that I shot at the range last time, if you guys can see. Kind of repaired pretty fine, but you could still see some big damage holes 
on the back for little bug shots. So just a heads up, like I said earlier, I wouldn't be shooting bug shots at this if I were you, but I mean, at the end of the day, who really shoots too much buck shots at targets at the range? So, I want to take a quick thanks to Infinity Defense for sending out this target, this Gen 2 Infinity Defense target, Infinity target, so we can try out and review for you guys on the channel today. And I appreciate you guys for staying along the whole video. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe for some more fire content. Peace.